today in this video we're going to be talking about the Asperex jump starter air compressor. I originally got an air compressor or electric battery operated air compressor for tires and this thing came to review and this also includes a jump starter. So I do have an air compressor that kind of goes up here and I got a nice nifty little air hose reel that I can go in the middle of my garage which makes it nice and easy to air up tires. And I have a lots of tires to air up. I have the electric bike right there. I have all these scooters right here, my lawnmower. And as a matter of fact, my uh, fertilizer spreader has tires that need to be aired up all the time. My golf cart, and then also my truck. And then also my wife has a vehicle as well. And so those are a lot of tires to keep inflated at all times. It gets kind of cumbersome and annoying to fire up their compressor, let it run, get it aired up, and then drag this hose reel out, or go find the fitting for it, and then go out to where I need to go. Second of all, how often are you out and about on the road and need to use it? So that's why this battery powered air compressor and jump starter will come in handy. You can leave it in your vehicle if you want to. Also, it will air up basketballs, volleyballs, beach balls, all that. That's I mean, that's my backyard, so to air those up, it's kind of annoying. Not only that, but it's also a jumpster. We're gonna pull this out and look at it in just a second, but. So down here, I don't know if you can see back there. Let me see if I zoom in. There it is, orange and gray. That's my jumper cables. And as you know, I have a lot of, well, got the lawnmower and a gas golf cart. So sometimes these things die. Also, sometimes the batteries in the vehicles die. So since I don't have another vehicle to jumpstart these with, or if my truck died and I need to jumpstart it, or neighbors, the problem is I need to have another battery to jumpstart off of. Well, with this, you don't need another vehicle. You just hook this thing up and the leads and we'll jumpstart any 12 volt vehicle. Well, technically any 12 volt vehicle. I think it's up to a 10 liter gas motor and an eight liter diesel motor. I'm not really sure how they equate all that. Um, doesn't seem uh, exact, but for the most part, unless it's something extreme, it'll jumpstart it. So let's go ahead and look and see what's everything you get here. Everything comes in this little pouch, nice little pouch thing. You have jumper cable leads that plug in. You have the actual unit itself. Here is to fill up air. We're gonna to to do that in a second here. Down the back side, I'm not sure that this is how this all came in. I just kind of put it in there. But you got the user manual. Actually, quite a bit of reading literature there for the bathroom. You have the USB C charging cable, so you can charge that. And then you have different nozzles here. One for, if you want to fill up uh, something for blow up, like a flotation device or whatever. And you have a needle here for basketballs, footballs, all those other types of things. And then you also have, it looks like a converter of some sort for another fitting. So here's the actual device. And it's actually kind of big, not too bad. But it also, the reason why it's so large is because it's got to fit the large battery in it. It's a 20,000 milliamp battery, and it will start, like I said, a vehicle up to 10, 10 liter gas and 8 liter diesel. But also, this has a 300 amp peak start ability. So as you can see here, this is the device right here to get the, uh, the air hose connector right there. Then you have a 2.4 milliamp charging port right here. So if you want to charge your phone, charge anything that's USB, you can charge it there. And right here you have, so you can charge it. It's a USB-C port. Here's where the battery connectors go. At least that's where it plugs into. And then you got a flashlight here. All right, so when you turn it on, it has different modes here. You hit the button up here, that looks like a basketball. So that's the ball. And you can up and raise and up and low, raise and lower the PSI. And then you'd hit power here. It will fill the ball up to that PSI. And then you can go over here. And this is just uh, all all the different.
different presets at once. So this looks like a car, another car. This is in the bar. You have a bicycle, PSI, and basketball. And then also down here, you have the light. So remember we talked about the light? Press it once, it's just a regular 500 lumen light. Press it again, it's a flashing light. Press it again. Now you have SOS. Press it again, and it turns off. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have a low tire or low pressure tire in my truck. I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. So we're gonna screw this into there. And the nice thing is it's got a little rubber, easy to grip connector here. Now we're gonna go over to the tire and we're gonna put this on it and fill her up. All right, so far, since I don't know bar, uh, I'm gonna use the bicycle one. And we're gonna change this to 40 PSI. That's what I wanna air this up to. Take off this. This. Put that on. Right now it's showing there's 30 PSI currently. So we're going to power. Now it stopped because it's at 40 PSI. So now we're good. I don't know if you caught that, but this goes on and then you press this down to lock it in place. It's kind of difficult with one hand, so you might need two. Uh, but that's how that locks in there. All right, so now that we're gonna jump start, or we're not gonna jump start vehicle, but we're gonna show you. This plugs in up here. And as you can see on here, on the connector, there's only one way to put it in. So put on the ground here. Only one way, so you can't mess that up. Also, you're not able to, you can connect these together if you wanted to right now, and it won't spark, which is really nice. So now, take these two, and in theory, if we wanted to jumpstart the vehicle, we take the blades, ground to the ground, red to positive, clamp them in, and then we'd go start the battery, or go start the vehicle itself. Uh, what's really nice too, just like connecting these together, if I wanted to, doesn't spark them. Same thing goes for if you accidentally hook this up backwards. So you hook up the ground to positive and positive to ground, it will not create any issues, which is also nice. Uh, I'm not sure why you would do that, but it does happen. I've seen it happen before where someone goes jump start a vehicle and reverses the leads by accident. It can cause a fire. Not good. Did forget to mention here, there is a boost button here. So if for whatever reason, a vehicle's not getting enough oomph, I guess, you have a boost button here. You click on that boost button and it'll give a little bit more power. So there's the Asper X jump starter with air compressor. And this would be great to leave in your vehicle or have your house. So that way, if you ever need to air up any basketballs or anything like that, air up any tires, jump start anything, 12 volt, it's great. One thing I wished is that they had somewhere on this unit to kind of hold these, like maybe a little trap door or something like that hold this because I don't want to keep putting them in a bag. This thing's going to be ripped. Guaranteed. We ripped and I'm going to lose these. I'm sure you can buy more of these, but either way, I wish there was a spot on here that you could put those in there. I know you have this, but I just wish there was a spot. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Either way, I will leave it. I do have a discount code that they gave me. It's, I think it's 10% off. I'll have it in the description below. There'll be a link to buy this in the, uh, my description below as well. So easy access, or if you want to learn more about this, if you have any questions or comments, put in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I think mean, it's going to save me a lot of time airing up scooter tires or lawnmower tires or spreader tires, bike tires. I mean, even my golf cart. I can take it with my golf cart if I wanted to. Nice thing is I take these out with my friends, and now no one will be left alone or held back if we get to the spot or where we're going to ride these and we have a low tire we could use that to air them up also i don't have to get out my what do you call it jumper cables what do you call it those are no longer needed so if this is your first time on my channel please consider subscribing for more videos like this also tech reviews home automation home repairs all that and i will see you next time